Certain restrictions have been eased on the new COVID-19 regulations that have been issued last week. Superintendent of Police Cromwell Henry spoke to these at the weekly NEOC press briefing on Wednesday. There is no time limit on access to beaches. However, there shall be no picnics, beach parties, or other social gatherings on the beaches. Passenger buses and ferries can now carry their maximum capacity, but masks must be worn, windows must be kept open, and hygiene and sanitization protocols observed. Training and practice sessions are permitted for amateur and recreational sporting events. But all hand hygiene, sanitization, wearing of masks, and physical distancing protocols in the regulations must be observed. Six members of the same family can now sit together at a table in a restaurant. Previously, it was limited to four. The capacities of weddings and funerals have also been relaxed. Weddings and funerals can now be host, can now host the maximum number of persons the venue can accommodate. It was 10, then it went to 25. Now it is not limited, but only limited by the capacity of the venue while observing physical distancing. A distance of, a space of 30 square feet per person is recommended in the regulations. Meanwhile, Superintendent Henry said there was a marked improvement in the conduct of business at the Frigate Bay Strip as it relates to the adherence to the COVID-19 guidelines. There was some improvement on the Frigate Bay Strip last weekend in that there was not the widespread party atmosphere with the DJs and their hi-fi systems. Uh, we thank the bar owners for their cooperation in this regard. However, we want to remind you that the, while the bars and restaurants are permitted to operate, physical distancing are still, social and physical distancing are still key components of their condition to operate under the regulations. Regulation 16.3 provides that where it is not possible for a business to function in accordance with the provisions of Regulation 7 relating to social and physical distancing, that business shall cease to operate for the duration of the regulations. So this is one of the consequences if you cannot adhere to the, the protocols. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Hazel Laws disclosed that as of July 1st, 467 persons in St. Kitts and Nevis have been tested, of which 452 were negative, and the 15 recorded positive cases have recovered. There are currently 64 persons quarantined in government facilities. These comprise nationals of St. Kitts and Nevis who have requested to return home. No one is currently in home quarantine. Dr. Laws also disclosed that the 13 Haitian nationals who are in custody after entering St. Kitts and Nevis illegally have all tested negative for COVID-19. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.